Now, a couple of years ago, I reviewed this. This is the Espresso Display. Aussie company making something so super thin that acts as a second screen for your laptop or a primary screen if you want to run, say, a Mac Mini. But this was a pretty epic device for those people that work from home, you work from a cafe, you travel, whatever it might be. Now this is about $750, this is the 15 inch touchscreen version. There is a smaller one, 13 inch, uh, about 500 bucks, and then the 13 inch touch version takes you closer to $700. And I love it, I've got really no major complaints, but for some reason, Espresso decided to take it to the next level. Let me show you how. There it is, this is the 17 inch espresso display and there's one other big thing you need to know, it's 4K. So they've taken feedback from everyone and this is a small Sydney company that listens to the people that buy their products and I think there's a bunch of people that own this that are going to upgrade to this because they've heard what you've said. Now this is an ultra thin, ultra light 15 inch touchscreen display for your devices. This one, 17 inches. 4K, massive upgrade in pixel density, color resolution, the whole kit. The density, the color, the everything about this is exceptional. I'll tell you straight away, it's heavier. Like, meaningfully heavier. And I've noticed that in my bag, because I'm carrying this in my laptop bag, in my backpack, with my huge 16-inch MacBook Pro. So, I mean, if I'm going for lightweight, I'm gonna go for MacBook Air anyway, and probably use something lighter. But I'm using this on the go, for, as a workhorse. And I tell you what, it bloody works. So we all know how this works, and if you haven't seen it before, let me demonstrate for you. $1,500 for this 4K 17.3 inch display. Then about 130 bucks for this little gadget here, which is a outstanding magnetic stand. There are a bunch of other accessories, including a folio case that also converts to a stand. Um, there's even a battery pack that's coming that's about the same size as the base of this stand and allows you to have it battery powered charging either your laptop but most importantly providing power to the display which gives you a bump up in quality and um, um, brightness as well really important so we need a cable and that is this lovely purple affair here we'll put that into the macbook also works with windows of course and then we'll plug it in here to the bottom of this display there's two usb ports there so that you can provide power or pass through whatever you like it's uh, very well engineered so when we sit that there straight away instantly uh, pops up as our second screen. Now, I gotta tell you, this isn't how I normally work, but next week I'm traveling and I'm gonna bring you more content, another video that shows you the ultimate setup for your laptop and a second display like this one. But let me tell you something really important about this. Have a look at the size difference here. It's, the, it's actually a little bit, uh, not quite as tall, so uh, shorter. Uh, in height, uh, it's only slightly wider, I would say an inch and a half in US crazy terms, probably 35 mil at a, at a glance, I'm just looking at it by eyeball. But because they've gotten rid of this chin that existed on the 15 inch version, you've got so much more screen real estate. Now remember, this is a touch screen display, so you're getting features here on the Espresso that you can't get on your standard MacBook. Look, I can't do anything here, let's open up a browser. All right, so there, we've got, a, we've got a standard browser and I can't do anything here, of course. I can bring my mouse down and use the trackpad of my, uh, of my laptop, no problems at all. But when I bring this over here onto this screen, I have scroll control, two finger scroll control, a bunch of other gestures that you can do on the screen to bring up the, uh, the launch pad, all that kind of stuff. So you can actually use this essentially as a trackpad for any part of your Mac. And then when you swipe up from the chin here, you get these three displays which show you a brightness, a contrast, and a volume. You don't get volume until you've got power coming into it. And frankly, it's not that great a speaker, so not a big deal there. You'll notice the screen brightness doesn't quite go all the way to the top here. That's because again, you've got to add power to get the full peak brightness out of this thing. Not an issue though in my mind. This is what matters. Great touch controls that allows you to excellent use of this thing. Now, there is another layer to this which I'm not gonna bring you right now because it deserves a little bit more of a look, but I'll, I'll give you a sneak peek. And it involves this. This is the Espresso Display Pen, and it gives you access to make this a stylus for your touchscreen. 
And of course, it's, this is as simple as, you know, you can draw on the screen. So let's select a pencil here, and basically we can draw all over it. Very, very cool and simple. And we can delete different things, all very good. So essentially there's a, there's a move here to make this a, a, a drafting thing, a drawing thing, an artwork thing, and it, it has huge potential. It's very early days. This software is in test flight. It is, it's had many, many updates since I've been using it. But um, there's so many settings here that I don't think you could really fully understand, and that is things like, you know, you can actually trace through the screen that you're looking at. So um, we, could, we could mark up things um, quite easily. We may change the size of that. Um, you know, let's do this here and that here. And that allows us to then save these as, uh, or export these, send them to other devices, whatever you want to do. Um, very, very simple and cool way to kind of approach markups of different things. But what I quite like is the ability to take one of your open screens and then draw within it. Okay, so we can take this here, we can draw in it, and then we can take what we draw and we can put it into what we're working on. It is far too difficult to explain in this very simple video, but let me tell you, it's a game changer for people that like to jot in documents, mark up documents and things like that. I can see people that uh, in the legal profession with documents they want to highlight. This thing does a really great job of highlighting PDFs, all that kind of stuff. So the Jot software is a kind of coming soon thing uh, for Espresso, but trust me, it's it's got some real potential. The main thing here is that you've got yourself the potential to use, I'm gonna boost my brightness here, I've got two of the same kind of displays. You've got the potential to really enhance your away from work working environment. This will become an absolute must have on travels with me because what I see here is the ability for me to have my editing timeline here and my preview window here. I'll be honest, this is not the ideal setup, setup sitting on a lounge on a coffee table, but on a desktop, you'd set your laptop up in the right way. You'd have this all configured very ergonomically well. You might even have this above your laptop. There's a million ways you could do it. $1,500 is a big price to pay. Uh, it is a very expensive second screen, but it's beautiful, it's thin. It is light comparatively, and the resolution is unbelievable. It's just a beautiful display. This kind of strikes me in the same way that Apple love to talk about their Pro, Retina, XDR, all those different words they use to describe really nice displays. None of that's required here. It's just a bloody beautiful display. And that's what matters to someone looking to enhance their working experience. Would I sit at a cafe using this? Probably not. It's a bit like I'm taking over the shop. But in a hotel room, if you're staying somewhere for a week, if you work from home but don't you know, you're like two or three days a week, you don't have a whole monitor set up. This is great for the kitchen table. Uh, Espresso have absolutely knocked this one out of the park. The price tag will put some people off, but I think actually the opening market for this are people that are gonna upgrade. Because people that know this and love this are gonna absolutely be blown away by the 17 inch model, a 17.3 inch display in a thing that's barely bigger than the old one. As I said, slightly thicker, a little bit heftier in the weight, and it is an enormous bit of kit. My backpack only just fits it in, so you will need to analyze how you carry around your things. The folio for it will keep it safe and protected, um, and it's well worth a look. You can buy directly from the Espresso team. They are an awesome bunch of Aussies just doing their best on the world stage. This thing is selling like hotcakes all around the world, particularly America. It deserves more Aussie support, but most importantly, it just deserves to do very well because it is a top-notch product and when you bring the ecosystem into it the battery charger you know adding those different elements really working this to to its fullest extent and something that I probably won't need to use and when they bring that jot software layer in at its best we've got a real contender on our on our uh, plates here for something that really workplaces would need to consider espresso displays easy to find online uh, and 1500 bucks, 1499. There were bundles in the pre orders. I don't know what else you might be able to get now, but absolutely worth getting the stand at the very least uh, and the folio cover if you are traveling with it. Check out all the details, full review at eftm.com, and like and subscribe for more details just like this in the weeks and months to come.